Right to Work is slowly finding its way in Illinois next on your Labor Minute. Hello, I'm Mark Harrison. The state legislature in Illinois came up just one vote shy of defeating Republican Governor Bruce Rauner's veto of legislation seeking to prohibit local right to work laws in the state. So far, only one town, the community of Lincolnshire, located not far from Chicago, has established itself as a right to work municipality. Lincolnshire's trustees took that step at a meeting in December of 2015, despite overwhelming opposition to the ruling from those in attendance. And what that ruling meant was that unions doing business in the town had to allow union members to opt out of paying dues if they so chose, despite the fact that federal law requires that unions equally represent all of its members. Rauner, who is one of the Koch brother favorites in the upper Midwest, has been pushing for local communities to enact these right-to-work laws. But the state's General Assembly approved a ban on local right-to-work legislation just last summer, only to have Governor Rauno veto the bill, thus keeping it from becoming law. Now, last week, a vote to override that veto failed when the House could only come up with 70 votes when it needed 71. And in what some are calling a cowardly act, Republican Michael McAuliffe of Chicago voted present rather than yes or no. Now, interestingly, a federal judge struck down the Lincolnshire laws last January after the town was sued by four labor unions. The town is appealing that ruling. Still, the governor and Republicans in the state legislature continue to see a need to protect these local laws going forward, with lo local right-to-work zones being a major component of Rauner's controversial turnaround agenda for Illinois. I'm Mark Harrison with your Labor Minute.